How many are we in? Seven in. How's that? So on. Nice one. one more to go. Yeah. Good morning, team, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I have a guest. Simon, today we are doing some hill intervals. So we are doing a 1K warm up and then we are doing 10 times, I think it's 200 meters up the hill fast and then 200 meters recovery. So it's a little bit of a different session, but a session like this will be so, so supportive and so beneficial to me actually building speed as well. So I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. That's why we do these sessions. So just gonna take you through what we do today. Um, it is literally about half six in the morning. We're a little bit late. Actually, I think it's, oh, it's 10 to seven. So it's about to get very hot and spicy. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. So we are today doing hill sprints uh, in sunny, sunny Dubai. So today's workout is actually 10 times 40 seconds work. And when we're talking about hill sprints, what we're doing is we're really pushing what we would call our anaerobic capacity. So when we are running, we want to work on two different, there are a few different things actually. The primary ones really are going to be that we want to do specific speed sessions to get faster. And then we want to do specific sessions to build our aerobic base, which is aerobic essentially means that the body is utilizing oxygen. So essentially what we're doing is when we're working at that heart rate level, which is 180 minus your age generally um, what happens is that we are getting the body better at exercising with oxygen meaning that we get fitter and fitter and fitter meaning that we get to run faster at that pace however it means that we do have to stick to that pace today's session is pretty much the opposite of that so it's called anaerobic so anaerobic is when our heart rate is in a specific level so that's generally 220 minus your age that's when our heart rate is in a specific level where actually our body gets used to running without oxygen. So we have two different uh, areas and this is normally what people do when they go to like hit 5k PV, they are not trained in the anaerobic threshold, which is like the really high heart rate. And essentially you absolutely bum out because your body just cannot cope with exercising that intensity, e.g. your heart rate is too high. So I hope that gives you a little bit more context on actually what that means and, and what it is. Today we are doing essentially an anaerobic threshold run. So we are pushing hard harder than my threshold, which is about 440 minutes per kilometer. Um, and today we're doing it on the hills. The benefit of this is that it's going to exceed the heart rate. It's going to allow me to get fast on the flat. If I get good at the hard, you get better at the easy, if that makes sense. So this is also super beneficial for me because I don't have a lot of incline in Dubai. So it's really great for me to seize the opportunity for uh, like hill sprints as often as I can. And as you'll see in this session, we are, how many are we in? Seven in. Simon's leaving me. We're seven in, this is absolutely horrible. First time I've ever really done sprint. So it's definitely tough and it's so hot. My legs are going like jelly at the top, but we're doing all right. I think we're hitting in the three minute case. So we've got three more left and I'm gonna get on with it because I really just want this to be over. <laughs> it's not really a hill, um, like a, a typical English hill. It's a man-made slope, uh, but that is all we have in Dubai. Dubai is the flattest place. It's literally flat everywhere. Like sometimes when I do a run, I have like one meter of elevation. It's absolutely mental. So that's what we're doing today. So today we are doing 10 times, 40 seconds work. And these are like hill sprints. These are like sell your soul to the devil. How's that? So hard. One, one more to go. Yeah. Oh, that is a horrible speed. From down here oh. to up here. Uh, so that's what we and are doing today. So we'll run up to the top and then we're walking back down after. And the reason being is we want to train the heart rate in that zone for short, sharp periods of time. And then we want to let the heart rate cool back down. So when it's uh, like sprints, we would do uh, the same rest as we would run. Uh, and then as we go into like tempos, when your heart rate decreases, it's normally like half of the time. So that's what we're doing today. Um, you know, it absolutely killed me, but the temperature had dropped a little bit. So it was, uh, it was definitely better than it could have been, uh, but it was still pretty challenging 
challenging, but it was therefore an enjoyable run. Uh, we only clocked off about five kilometers in total, actually. Uh, which is crazy for me after training obviously for the marathon the half marathon um five kilometers is just not a distance i run anymore it's, it's always at least it was always at least 10 so uh, obviously just bringing things back down post half marathon we generally bring the volume back down we work on speed and then we rebuild as we go into a, another event so as the next event is not actually until april uh we're just working on those slightly shorter distances at the moment getting as fast as humanly possible what have we got here a mouthful of so guys thank you so much for coming and watching my video today i massively massively appreciate all the support on this channel recently um, and all of your support on my running journey is absolutely incredible if there is anything specific you would love to see on this channel please please drop a comment below because i would love to support you back and giving you as much information as possible or giving you a really good insight into what i'm doing uh, my next video is actually going to be how do i train as a hybrid weight train run and diet at the same time because i'm currently on a mini cut so i'm going to talk you through what i eat in a day and how i manage that with the training that i do bye